In this video, we will see what are the new site templates are available in SharePoint Online and also we will apply a site template to the existing site. Uh, we can check the history of the site template also in the site so that we will see. So for that I am going back to this uh, SharePoint site. So if you go to this site action gear, now we have a new option called apply a site template. So when we click this apply a new site template, we can able to see couple of templates from the Microsoft and if you save any of your sites as a template, you can able to see this, uh, see those uh, site templates here. Now if you go to the Microsoft, we have uh, brand central and uh, so with this uh, uh, we can able to, it, it can able to provide a centralized location for the brand assets and the guidelines. So crisis management we have and for a department related also we can able to create and we can able to create a news and events and we'll work with the resources in this. We have events site template, we have HR related as well and um, we have leadership connection, we have learning central and uh, so employee onboarding also available and organization home is available, showcase topic and volunteer center and finally blank one is available so we can utilize any one of these so uh, once we add that and we will get the we will get that uh, you know template related features in our site so what i'm doing is i'm trying to add this new employee onboarding if you want to see the details of this template when you click this one you can able to see and the site capabilities also you can able to see here see here you can able to see broadcast information across the organization and uh, emphasize organization wide values and initiatives the highlight videos training material and resources customized tasks in the onboarding checklist showcase new employee with the pre built new hire introduction page templates couple of templates are available so if you want to use this one you can click this use template so once we click this one and it is applying the template to the site so this is already existing site and now it is applying the things uh, from this template to the site it will take couple of seconds and then later it will add those things and we can able to check see the theme also changed but this site already have multiple uh, list and libraries and uh, this home page is changed you can able to see welcome to the team so here we can add some sample content the images is already added and uh, web parts also added here it looks like an a hero web part and here also you can able to see uh, the sales related and um, the account management client services business development and consumer sales couple of things which is already added here so if you go if you click this one and if you go to the site contents the contents also will add to this one employee related information employee documents and employee documentation few of few of the document libraries will add to our site and this site already exists and i have a couple of uh, lists in it so that's why we, we cannot able to see what are the new things which are added recently but most of the things which are related to employee which is added to this site so if you if you click this one now you can able to see another option here apply site template and also you can see this site information option when you click this site information here you can able to see last template used which is new employee onboarding so if you want to see the history of this one you can able to see if you click this one and uh, new employee onboarding which is applied on 20th august 2023 and if i close this one again i have an option apply site template so on the same site i can able to add other templates as well now i want to add this learning center also if you click this one you can able to see the learning central related site capabilities and which contains highlight highlight Im important resources share news and announcement and using this promote the upcoming events emphasize values and initiatives and showcase available courses so if you click this use template option it will also apply to the existing site so it will take a couple of seconds and it will apply now see the latest one is this learning central so as per that the theme is changed and the web parts are changed on the home page and the events is added few of the different different of 
different type of web parts is added so if you go to site information again if you click on the site information now here you can able to see view template history so if you if you click that one and we have applied learning central initially and again we have applied sorry we have applied new employee onboarding initially and now we have added this learning central so this is the latest one if you go back and if you click this one and if you go to the site contents in the site contents you can able to see few things which are added related to that so in the site assets few of the things added and um, and uh, this employee onboarding is added from the previous one and which is not deleted and if you add any new template and related to that will add to this um, site assets but uh, the previous one will not delete from the will not delete from the site assets so this way you can able to apply the site templates if you click this apply a site template you can able to see few of the templates which are created by microsoft for example if any anything which is required for your business you can able to select it and you can able to add so once you add the template and the related uh, document libraries and the related list automatically will add and also the content types also will add into that list and document library so just what we have to do is we have to utilize that so this is the advantage with the apply a site template and um, we can able to check what are the templates which is recently used to that so this is not limited to a single one so you can able to apply once if you don't like it and you can able to apply another one as well and also if you create something like this and you can save this one as a template and then you can utilize that in the another site that we'll discuss in the upcoming video